Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY, and like always, I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome to any new viewers. And I just want to tell y'all I really, really, really appreciate it that y'all have subscribed to my channel and watched my videos. So if you follow me on social media, which the links are down below, you will have seen a list of everything needed for today's project, and you can get that list on the community tab. And I'm going to show you right now what we're going to be using to make this little craft. So I got this box a while back at Dollar Tree. It's just a little cutout of a butterfly. I thought it was really cute and could do something fun with it. So I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use Waverly chalk paint as Snow White. You can use whatever color you want, but this is one of the ones I'm gonna be using. And then I'm also gonna be using this color shift from Folk Art that's pastel purple. I think it's absolutely gorgeous colors. And then the last thing I'm going to be using is some fairy lights. I got these off Timu. You can get them at Dollar Tree, Walmart, craft stores, you know, anywhere. Or Timu like I did. Alright y'all, let's get started. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just literally going to be painting this box. And I'm going to be doing it two different colors. I just wanted something that was going to be fun and easy to do. And you didn't have to think too much on. And I decided to do the outside part white the out, outer box part white that's why I chose it I thought it would really make the other color pop so that's what we're going with now of course like I tell y'all all the time y'all should be fun have fun and be creative and just do what y'all like y'all don't have to pick what I pick it'll still come out looking amazing if you do that sorry my brain froze for a second there so yeah just have at it and have fun and don't think too much on it you know whatever you feel first whatever first comes to your mind just go with it and see where it takes you I'm gonna tell you right now that's what I do for a lot of my projects I literally just go with what feels right at the time You just, you don't want to think too much. Now, you could probably also sand this. I probably should have sanded this. I never think of that until I'm painting it, that I probably could have sanded the, the wood to make it easier on myself. So, that is a tip I am giving y'all. And I'm just going to do the whole box. white now another thing you can do which I'm not doing with this but I'm just letting you know you can also have used these for two different projects like took this and made something out of it and used the inside for something else you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing I just thought this would be a fun little decor piece you know I would love to hear some ideas that y'all have by the way I need to get some brighter light up in here, y'all. I had to go somewhere today, so I'm actually doing this later in the evening than I normally would. And so it's not that bright for me. So I need to figure out some light. And yes, I'm going to paint the inside too. Just to give it a more uniform look. I don't want the inside to be wooden color and I've painted everything else white. And then like I said, also if I decide to do something different with it, it's already painted. You know, the whole thing. I don't have to paint it. 
to make it fit. Alright, so I'm going to let this dry and then I'll come back and finish the rest of it. So, okay, while that's drying, I'm going to move on to the next one and I'm going to take and I'm going to paint this my lovely, lovely purple color. Now, I have other ones of these, but I just, I don't know, I chose the purple. I have a bunch of different color shift colors because I just think they're so pretty, y'all. So, I just like painting with them. I did a mermaid tail on one of my videos using one of these colors. I think it was this one. It might have been blue one. But I just think it's so gorgeous the way it comes out. And I think it'll just really fit what I'm trying to do. And I'm not even going to lie, I picked the purple because I do like the color, but it was the first one that I saw of my color shift, so I just went with it. So. And it'll probably be the first one I run out of because I use it more than the others. said before you can use whatever colors you like there's one I actually want to use one day it's a I think it's called dragon or something like that that I have that's color shift and then I have the yellow orange one I think it is I have quite a few different ones that I can use And again, yes, I'm going to color the whole box this. I just, you know, working on it right now. So, depending on how it looks when it dries, I might do a second coat of this, but I don't mind it being thin. I just think it works good that way too so I just have to see how it looks once it's dry before I decide now there are plenty of different sized paint brushes that you can use and I just say use the one that fits best I got a lot of big open area to paint so I'm using a bigger brush but um if you had a small area, like literally the top like this, you could actually use a smaller one and it'll help you paint it better. So, just letting y'all know. Okay. One more, and then I'll let this dry also, and then I'll paint some more. Thick, but it is what it is. So. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing I did with the other one. I'm going to paint the top edges.
and I'm just going to use what paint is left on the brush and if I need more I'll do that when I paint later. Now I gotta let that dry too, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, now that it's dry, I'm just gonna continue painting. So we can get this done and move to the next step. Like I said, this is not a very long, strenuous, big project. I just thought it'd be something that would really be cute and make your house look good so and like I said it really does not take a long time to do just however long it takes you to paint it So, I'm sure you could figure out plenty of things to do with this if you wanted to do it separate. Nothing's coming to my head except for like put some floral in it or, you know, office supplies or something. Because apparently, <laughs> when I try to think of stuff, my mind just goes blank. But, which even doing it this way you can um, store stuff in it but like I said I wanted a decor piece but you can use it as um, storage too because it is a box you know so I mean that is also an option if you don't want to just do decor So I've painted the inside, as you can see. I hope I did that in camera. If not, I am so sorry, y'all. I'm trying, and sometimes I just get so wrapped up in what I'm doing, I don't even realize whether <laughs> I got it in camera or not. So I painted the inside first. Now I'm gonna go ahead and paint the bottom so that it can dry. Well, this I guess would be the back, not really the bottom, because I'm using it as a one piece. I'm not separating it, so. Right, so, I'm gonna set this down and let it dry. And decide on if I need to add another paint, I mean another layer, not paint. 
and then we'll go from there. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna move on to this, and I'm gonna finish painting it. I'm just going to paint the bottom real quick and then move up the sides. Now, there are other things you can do too. I did it on my Easter sign video this year. If you don't want to paint this whole box this color, you could find a color similar to the purple or whatever color you pick. And paint the inside that so you still get the shiny pretty color but then you also get another color too to help you if you don't want to use all of your color shift hold on y'all sorry the paint just decided to go flying for some reason so I had to get it I'm just gonna do what I've been doing now I don't know like I said there are different ways you can do this I can get the Easter one out and show you so that you don't have to look for the video unless you want to watch it cuz I think it came out looking really cute but I can show you what I was talking about there are so many different ways you can do all of this so you don't have to feel like you're you can only do it one way because that is most definitely not true I think I'm liking the way this is coming out looking, y'all. I mean, of course, I will tell everybody they don't have to do it this way if they like it a different way. But I'm liking it. It's um, subtle, I want to say. I don't know if that's the right word or not, y'all. I feel like it's the right word, but that doesn't mean it is just because I feel like it is. Now I painted the cutout too, so that it would just 
flow good, I guess. I don't know. So it's just not glaringly obvious. That's what I want to feel like I want to say. Alright, so now the last part's the actual bottom. <laughs> No, I, I like how it's not a too thick of a color. You know, I like this way it looks. So, I'm going to leave it at that. And I'm going to let it dry, of course, and then we'll go on to the next part. Alright, now that they're dry and they're painted inside and out, as you can see, if I can get it in camera because I'm being stupid. <laughs> We're going to move to the next step. And the next step is really simple for what I'm going to do. I'm going to say again, y'all don't have to do this. This was just something I thought would be really, really cute. So I have some um, fairy lights. That's what they're called. Yep, that is what they are called. And I'm literally just going to them on the inside of this thing once I figure out what I'm doing wrong. Give me a second because I don't know what's going on. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry y'all. Alright, so I'm just gonna literally just figure out what I'm doing wrong. I know I could have just left them tied up, but I didn't want to do that. So I'm literally just going to stuff them in there. I'm going to take that out. And um, it's literally all you have to do. I mean, and then I'm going to show y'all. Let me turn my light off. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I know I still got a light on. I'm going to turn that light off too so y'all can see better. But look how cute that is. See? Isn't that so cool? And you can even have it where it doesn't blink. Where it does blink. Where it blinks fa faster. Faster. Where it blinks faster. Yeah, there's several different ways you can do it. I'm not even going to lie to y'all, I almost forgot to show y'all this like I told y'all I'd do. So this is the same kind of paint that I painted the purple box with, but I wanted to show y'all, you see this? This is just regular green paint that you can do instead of doing the shiny color shift. So I just promise y'all I'd show y'all that, so that's what I'm doing right now. So. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. So that is literally all I have for this project. It is done. I think it came out looking amazing. I am completely 100% in love and happy with it. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And if y'all did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below because it does help my channel to grow. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.